Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate installing QODBC online and using QODBC online with Microsoft Excel and Access. So let's get started. Now you need to download the latest version of QODBC online from www.qodbc.com. I have already downloaded the version and let's get started. Right click onto the installer and select run as administrator. Click yes. You will be presented with the welcome screen. Click next onto the installer. You can go through the readme file, the license agreement. On this step, you can skip the CD key if you want to just start with the trial version. If you want to change the installation directory, you may click browse button. For now, I'll be installing it onto the default directory. All right, so QODBC installation is completed. Click finish. So onto the desktop, we'll have this QODBC online quick quick start guide of the PDF file and uh, start and onto the start menu, all programs, scroll to Q. Right. So here we'll have QODBC driver for QuickBooks online install. All right, so we are completed with the installation. So let's get started with uh, connecting QODBC online with QuickBooks, QuickBooks online, and uh, using it with Microsoft Excel. And so the first step is to connect QODBC online with QuickBooks online. So click on to the start, all programs, I'm sorry, all apps and go to the queue section. Under QODBC driver for QuickBooks Online, select ODBC data source 32 bit. Go to system DSM, QuickBooks Online data and click configure click connect to quickbooks if you have uh, not enabled the pop-up please enable the pop-up and you should have this uh, integration pop-up coming up Log into your account. Click onto the company. Scroll down and click authorize. All right, so you are connected. You may close the browser onto the QODBC setup screen you'll have the confirmation that it's connected click ok a button will change to disconnect from quickbooks click ok click ok so you are ready to use QODBC online so let's get started with Microsoft Excel first so I'll be using Microsoft Office 2013 32-bit 
So let's start with Excel 2013. So to know if you are using Excel 32 bit or 64 bit, you can just go to File, Account, and click the About tab. Here you will notice if you are using a 32 bit or 64 bit. All right, so back to Excel, and I'll click the data. Onto the data, click from other sources, select Microsoft Query. Here you need to select QuickBooks Online Data, click OK. Alright, so here we have list of tables. So for this demonstration, I'll be using customer. So I'll be going ahead with the default settings. I'll not filter anything, will not sort. We'll use the default one and hit finish. All right, so Let's bring the data. All right, so we have the customer records. Similar way, we can pull all the invoices record. I'll create a new sheet to data from other sources from Microsoft Query QuickBooks Online Data from the list of table let us select QuickBooks Online sorry from the list of table let us select invoice table I'll add all the columns click next I'll get all the records so we'll go with the default next and we'll return the data to Microsoft Excel all right so we have the data click OK All right, so we have the invoice data. So with that data, uh, you can create your own reports. You can create another sheet and you can work with uh, merging the two sheet or create a new report. All right, so let's move to Microsoft Access. This demonstration will be using a blank database. All right, so this is obviously uh, Office 2013 32-bit, so Excel is also, Access is also 32-bit. So let's get started with uh, adding QODBC tables to this MS Access database. Click the external data. Click ODBC database. For this demonstration, I'll be using link data source. Click OK machine data source select quickbooks online data click ok so 
So let me add all the tables. All the tables has been added. So let us browse customer table. Double click onto the customer. All right, so here is the customer table. So let me add a new customer. So first of all, let me log into my QuickBooks online company. All right, so here we have a list of customers. So I'll be adding a new customer over here. Let's say we'll add somewhere, somewhere else here. So let's go to the end of the records. All right. So here, let me input A, B, A. And I'll move the cursor, or you can just click the the row up or about the new added one. So for now, I'll just click on to do any of the other row. All right, so. When a cursor moves to any of the other record, that means the one that you are inserting or updating is updated. So let's switch back to QuickBooks Online and save. Let me refresh the page. Here we have we close the table. I hope this video helps. Thank you.